I've been a ham radio operator pretty much all my life since I was an early teenager. And one of the things I was concerned about going full time in the RV and giving up all of our basic home stuff was the lack of an antenna system to use with my radio. So I uh, designed a way to mount a vertical antenna on the rear of the motorhome. For those of you that know anything about verticals, it's uh, said that they radiate equally poorly in all directions. I think that's probably a true statement. Not as good as a beam mounted up 70 feet, but it does work. It gets out. It allows me to, to continue the hobby, and I appreciate that. So today I'm going to show you what happens when we dig it out from under the coach and uh, install it on the back of the RV and put it up and uh, how that process all works. It's uh, well, fairly simple. Uh, it does work well. It does take some, some effort. So I hope you enjoy that and I uh, hope you have a great day. These are the bits and pieces of aluminum as they're stored, ready to go on the back. Next we'll pull the uh, trailer hitch out of the receiver and install our antenna mount back into that receiver, getting ready to go. going to install a tilt plate uh, from DX Engineering. This is the key to making the whole antenna go up and down relatively easily. And so there's a couple of U bolts that have to go on for that. And eventually we're going to have to align this plate uh, in a direction where we want the antenna to be tilted. Uh, the important thing here is to make sure when you try and bring it up that there aren't any trees or branches or other obstructions or other RVs in the way. So it gets to be a little bit of a uh, different alignment every time it's installed. You also have to make sure that uh, when you're all set up with this, that the matching network points directly back to the RV in order to be able to install the ground radios correctly. Next, we're going to install the main support and matching network onto the uh, mounting bracket that's attached to the RV uh, trailer hitch. Next we'll lay the antenna support down horizontally so we can begin work with everything uh, built in the horizontal direction and eventually tilt everything vertically which is where the final position will be. This next section of antenna is the first one where you'll see some of the tuning stubs, those thin pieces of aluminum uh, alongside the main tube that are used for various bands. If you're full-time in an RV, you'll realize that everything you have with you has to serve more than one purpose. Here we see a lawn chair being pressed into service as a support for antenna building.
next section also has some additional tuning stubs. So now not only do we have to insert it into the previous tube, we also have to align the uh, correct tuning stubs with their mates on the first section we installed. Once they're all installed, now we have to tighten up a number of hose clamps on the main tube as well as on the tuning stubs. Well, I brought the trap section out a bit too soon. We really need another piece first. This antenna uses a lot of hose clamps. This is the last piece of the main vertical antenna. See the tape marks which are used to align the position in the preceding section. There are two sets of capacitive hats used on the antenna. This shows you the installation of the larger of the two sets. This is the bracket assembly and tilting plate attached to the rear of the motorhome. The trickiest part is getting the two screws that mate with those locking slots in the tilting plate. 
and it's done. Now we have to lock down the four screws that hold the vertical to the mounting plate. There are seven short radials that are part of the ground system on this antenna. You can see here why we have to have the matching network, that black box, pointed back at the motorhome. Well, I hope you enjoyed that short video and uh, maybe you learned something about it. I'll leave comments below and if you like it, uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if not, give it a thumbs down. That's okay. And uh, if you want to see more videos coming out of, uh, out of us, then uh, subscribe to the channel and we'll see what happens in the future. Hope you're having a good one.